Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your man, Grant249. Wanted to shoot a video today just to give you an update on my EDC or maybe changing to EDS, according to Dave Canterbury. Uh, Want to give you my update on my bag, the one that I've been carrying for eight or nine months now. I'll show you what's in it, show you what I changed, things like that. Just give you a little EDC update, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. So yeah, like I said in the intro, I wanted to jump on YouTube and give y'all an update on my EDC. Um, this is the LA Police Gear Frunk Bag. I've been carrying this since December of last year. Really like this bag. Um, I haven't really switched to any other bag. I carry this with me pretty much everywhere I go. Um, grocery, mall, church, um, gas station, Bucky's, it doesn't matter. This thing's with me. Um, if I don't actually carry it in the store because I'm only running in to grab some milk, it's in the car. But more than likely, I have this thing slung on me everywhere I go. Um, it does not leave my side. So wanted to kind of give you an updated contents in it. Um, I changed a few little things in it, but this is the system that I've been rolling for at least a good seven months. Even with these changes I'm about to show you. So let me bring you in closer and we'll take a look at all the contents. As far as the outside's concerned, everything pretty much stayed the same. Um, I still carried a little bitty small uh, hand sanitizer on one side of the bag. I do have this Carabiner S-Clip Night Eyes S-Clip on this side for my keys for a small little water bottle if I'm gonna be out for a little while. I still have my uh, Streamlight Nano on the outside. I do use this a lot. Only thing that really has changed is the morale patch on the front. Uh, that's a shout out to my man Sean Kelly over at Corporal's Corner. I'm a big supporter of his. I love the videos that he does. Um, so yeah, go check him out. That's his logo. He sells these morale patches on his Etsy page. So go check him out. He does some really cool stuff as far as bushcraft and uh, building things are concerned. So rocking that, supporting my man real quick. Um, but yeah, it still looks the same, same uh, feels the same. Still have the same little zipper pulls, the chums zipper pulls that I got over at Bucky's. Um, just wanted to kind of show you what things have changed on this guy. Um, up front, the small little pocket, nothing really has changed other than maybe the color of my highlighter. Um, I still have my, my pen, my Sharpie, my mechanical pencil, and a highlighter. I've been getting into a lot more reading lately, so these have been coming in handy. Um, kind of journaling a little bit more, so I'm always finding a, myself needing a pen or pencil. Uh, maybe even a, a permanent marker if I just want to jot down something real quick. So, yeah, I've been really using these a lot. So all of that just fits right in this front pocket. So let's move on to the middle compartment here. Just like the last video, I'll bring you in closer that we kind of see what I'm talking about when it comes to this middle compartment. This is what the bag looks like on the inside. As you can see, I have contents just kind of free floating. My power bank, the same one that I've been using for, I don't know, a year or two. Walmart does a good job. That's probably the most used item in my whole bag. My little medical kit, ouchie boo boo kit, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did a review on this. I believe it's on TikTok, so check that out. And got my same C to Summit, a little rag towel down there. Got my AirPods. I use these all the time. And then I got a glow stick down here, just in case. Um, let's flip you around here. That way you can see the mesh pocketing. That's kind of where I keep my cords, uh, cords for my iPhone. Uh, and I got my cord to charge my battery bank. And I also have, uh, I don't even know what it's called, the other cord uh, because I have a pair of JBL um, earbuds. So just in case I have those with me, I can recharge them. And of course, I got my fast charging uh, 
ball brick, whatever you want to call that there. So that's that little mesh pocket on the inside flap. Turning it around. This organizer came with this bag in case you haven't watched my uh, first video. So just kind of the contents of this. I've got uh, a little emery board nail file that I broke in half and put in here. I've always got a backup cigarette lighter. I've got my SOG power point, a uh, power pint, I'm sorry. I got nail clippers, got my uh, lip balm chapstick, got my little small Phoenix flashlight, and I've got my eye drops for my contacts. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and pull this organizer out. That way you can kind of get the, a good look at what it actually looks like out of the bag. All right, so that's the organizer out of the bag. Put it on my little seat of some rag. That way it can have a good little backdrop. Um, it, the back of this thing is fully Velcro. And on the inside of the bag, that whole back wall is Velcro. So that thing, once it's in there, it's in there. It ain't going anywhere. It's, uh, it's sticking like crazy glue. So you don't have to worry about it moving around. It's secure. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's got two little smaller pockets. I just carry some of that Listerine breath stuff because y'all know I always say in every video, I can't have stanky breath. And on this side, I carry a backup pair of contact lenses. Um, I got this idea of having a small roll of duct tape. I can't remember who I got this from. Um, it's just around a gift card. I, I've had to use this a few times just to hold things and it came in handy. So I was like, you know what? It's a good idea. My notepad and then behind there, I just got some spare cash. Uh, so that's all I really have in that little organizer. And again, like I said, it just fits back here. And if you're wondering, LAP lease gear, this bag's made in Nam, so good old Vietnam. So there you go. We got one more pocket to look at and we'll be done. And as you can see there, it's got the LA police gear logo. It's low key. I don't mind it. Um, and this is the back pocket, the one that rests against my body. I don't keep much in here anymore. Um, it's a few low items. So, we've got wet ones. Um, these actually really come in handy. If we go out to eat and the table is dirty, the chairs are dirty. You go to the grocery store and you pick up a pack of chicken and it's leaking. These really come in handy just for everyday uh, first world problem things. So keep those in there. Um, emergency, even though it's, good Lord, 105 degrees out here pretty much the last four weeks. Still want to get your vitamin C up in you. I use this pretty regularly. Um, yes, I do wash it every time, but this stays in my uh, my bag. This is Yuko. It's a titanium fork and spoon. I, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I use this thing. These are backup bands for my Apple Watch, just in case my other ones break and go out on me. And this is just another um, cleansing hygiene product that I keep back there. Um, in the past, I had a fixed blade back there, but that thing was uncomfortable. It added unnecessary weight. Um, and speaking of weight, this bag weighs right at three pounds. So it's really nothing. Um, but when I had my fixed blade in there, it would add almost another pound to it. I found that I never really used it. So why carry it if I'm not gonna use it? Um, I'm never far away from my police car or my personal car, which has fix, fixed blades in it. So that's my reasoning for that. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's pretty much all that I carry now in this bag. Um, I've kind of simplified it, kind of taken some things out of it. I've added a few little things to it. Um, this bag is personal to me. You may say, Grant, I wouldn't carry that, or I would add this, that, and the other. Hey, that's good for you. If that's what you want on EDC, then great. This is my system. This is what I carry. This is catered to my personal needs. So if you get something from this video, if you get an idea, then it was all worth the time and the effort of me putting this video together. 
Again, like I said, I want to jump on here because I've had a few little people ask me about updates on this bag and my little small Yukon bag that now lives in my patrol car. Um, that is kind of like my police EDC bag. So I will be shooting another video on that. That way you can see the update on that. Um, one of these days I will do a vehicle EDC. I just haven't quite gotten my car squared away yet to where I want to uh, dedicate time and effort into doing a video on it. I'm, I'm close. I'm like 85% there. So that, that should be coming out soon. But yeah, man, thank y'all for subscribing. Thank y'all for the likes. Thank y'all for the comments. I read every single one of them, good or bad, doesn't matter. Um, I, I appreciate the support, man. And as I always say, stay aware and stay prepared.